Hey guys, this is Dennis, the founder of Think Hero. And I'm David Griffin, your resident comic book and video game guru. And this is our review of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Episode 9. Yeah, repairs. Well, it's already Episode 9. Yeah, it's just time <laughs> flies when you're watching this show. <laughs> yeah, last episode we thought, like, hey, this is a decent episode. Yeah. It's a step in the right direction. This one, like, I actually have mixed feelings about this one. Mm -hmm. It's not as good as last week's. The storyline I didn't really care about, but right. there were some character moments and yeah. banter between the characters that I did like. Yeah, uh, Jed Whedon co wrote this one, so it was a little bit better. A little, it's just it was a step back I think from last week's, but it wasn't by any means the worst episode that we've seen yet. Uh, I like how they opened, you know, with uh, Ming Ya, you know, uh, and um, uh, uh, Grant. Yeah, I was forgetting. Yeah, Grant. You know, that relationship's still kind of going, and like how she's. She's kind of the man of the relationship. Well, you know? She just she, jets. She's just like, I'm gone. You know, I don't, I don't need any comfort. You know, I, I love that. So that was one of, the, I think, the, the best things of last week's episode, that relationship. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's interesting to me. I like that. Well, yeah, you have those moments. You have the moments between Fitz and Simmons doing the pranks against each other. Yeah, and that was fi fine, Finding yeah. out May did the last prank. Right. And, right. you know, you had nice character development of, of, of Sky trying to figure out what what May's kind of secret is of why yeah. they call it the Calvary. And, right. And you, we don't get everything, but we do get something. Because at first, it was kind of right. funny that Fitz and Simmons was <laughs> telling this big, elaborate, grand There's story. There's a hundred people that she killed, and yeah, all right, with one and gun. Then, <laughs> and then Grant gave a version, and right. Coulson, which I assume is not the, the, the full version, but probably the most accurate that you're going to hear until right. May decides to divulge what happened right right no it was good so those moments were nice but then my problem was i didn't care about the main story i didn't care no. about the ghost dude right or the girl that they thought was a, a mutant and had telekinetic powers right. i didn't really mm -hmm. care about any of that stuff they tried to tie it in back to thor with the portals being yeah. open but it, that it's still you can't the thing is when you do you can't just mention thor and yeah. expect to get a good response like oh it's they mentioned Thor this is good now this is part of the Marvel mythology and it's like you have to again you have to do the character stuff was far more interesting mm -hmm. those small character moments that's what makes a show good the mythology alone can't carry the show yeah yeah you can't always tie everything in I mean I, I, I like last week's tie-in because yeah. it was it was you know it kind of made mention of, uh, of the movie of what happened in the movie but mm -hmm. then had its own thing that was semi-related right and I thought the action was pretty cool in the, in the last week's episode, mm -hmm. where this one I didn't really... I mean, except for May at the end was kind of cool. May fighting right. the ghost right. guy was kind of cool. Yeah. But other than that, I, I didn't really care much about that that particular story, that episodic right. nature that we keep harping on. Like, come on, yeah. let's get let's to get to something bigger and right. better. I mean, this is episode nine. Uh, the show is in full swing. This is... I doubt the show's going to change so drastically in the next half. I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't even recognize the show anymore. So what worries me is I hope this isn't all we can expect. This is like, this is the peak. I hope that we see some more improvements, some better progression. But I don't know. I don't know how be better the show can get from here. I hope it does. I'm just not sure if they can salvage this season quite yet. I mean, there's potential. I mean, shows can... You know, I've watched shows where, you know, they were kind of like this, where they're very episodic, and then right. slowly they start turning into a bigger storyline, and then, it, you know, everything moves towards that. And right. the only problem I see is we haven't even seen really a, a glimpse of that, you know? That's, that's my fear, because you look like the show, like, you and I talk a lot about Fringe, mm -hmm. and Fringe had a slow start, but yeah. Fringe had characters from the beginning, especially John Noble, that I cared about immediately as soon as he was on screen. I don't know if I cared that much for the cast, in Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I, I, I like Mingya, I like Grant, they're trying to develop mm -hmm. him a little bit more. Uh, Fitz and Simmons are trying mm -hmm. to develop a little bit more, but there's still nothing Sky I don't still care for. Mm -hmm. I don't care for as many characters as I did on Fringe. Well, Fringe also had massive dynamic. I mean, there was yeah. the whole story of, uh, of William Bell and, right. and uh, Walter's relationship with him and, right. and, and this storyline, even though it was episodic, they tried to tie it into yeah. that somehow, and then later it went that way. My problem with Agents of Shield now is what is that thing? Right. What is the main? Where's the main villain? What's it? The th They've given tiny, tiny hints, like some girl in a flower dress and some guy in prison. And right. Um, so next week's episode, maybe, maybe it will be better because they're bringing back um, the actor that was in the first episode who was uh, who oh, played yeah. who played Gun in right. uh, Angel. Right. He's coming back. He's if he joins the team, he'll be kind of like the the first superhero or yeah. or you know super powered right. guy on the team. So hopefully this will 
give, I don't know, maybe that's what they're going to build up their overall story. I, I don't know why it's taking 10 episodes to do this, but hopefully before we get our, you know, our, 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 our break, our mid-season break, there will be a bigger storyline to follow. Look forward to at least to come. I hope yeah, so. yeah. I'm oh. hoping like whenever that mid-season finale is, it, right. it really delivers. It needs to. Because I, I have a feeling if it doesn't, most people aren't going to come back. Yeah. For, yeah. for, for the show. I right. Mean, People are still like, I get comments all the time, like, why are you still watching it? And, da, da, da. and the ratings are dropping. They still lot, yeah, them. and a lot of times, though, I can guarantee a lot of them haven't seen any of the latest episodes. Right, yeah. Not to say that I, you know, I like d- disagree or anything, but I, I'm just holding out hope because of the people who are behind it. Yeah. Not just Joss Whedon, because we, we know he's not. You know, he kind of oversaw it in the beginning, and then but yeah, Jed, off his Jed brother, Lee and Fletcher, and, from the, two Spartacus guys. I mean, hopefully, yeah. So I, 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 I still have hope. I, I have a feeling maybe the network and Disney and whoever the powers that be are kind of holding them back right, right yeah. now. And then now, as the ratings are going low, they're like, "All right, do what you want." So yeah, I mean, if this show just goes freeform, it could be good. Yeah, it could be more like maybe like an Arrow or something. I think the show, because of their cinematic universe, they are being held back because the cinematic universe comes first before the television shows. That's yeah. why I'll be curious to see what the Netflix series are going to be like. So yeah. we'll see. All right, guys. So that's what we thought of the episode. You can post your comments below on the website, thinkhero.com, or on our YouTube channel, Think Hero Pro. Mm-hmm. And uh, make sure you subscribe to that as well. Uh, you can also come check us out on Twitter. We'll talk to Dennis and I about, you know, Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Are you liking it? Or, you, you know, have you given up on it a long time? You're probably still saying, like, why are you guys watching the show? <laughs> Let us know what your feelings uh, you can find us at Think Hero. I'm at Griffin DE. And we also have a Facebook page that's facebook.com slash Think Hero fans. And make sure you like that page and mm-hmm. also tweet out and yeah. share our videos on Facebook and other social uh, networks. Yeah. Thanks.